guys, so today is Saturday. Last. Today is Monday. <laughs> I'm still so tired. <laughs> today is Monday and Kendra and I are about to get ready to go to the mall because Kendra cracked her phone, her screen, when we were in LA and she has to go get it fixed. And I need to go to Nordstrom just because I need to get a couple of products from Kiehl's that I've been wanting to try. Um, a, a cleanser I want to try and then a toner that I want to try from them. And then right now I'm uploading a video. So hopefully it doesn't take that long because I really want this video to go up today. Because I already pre-filmed it and it's just um, a quick hair tutorial. Well, it's actually two hair tutorials in one. So I want to try to get that up today. And then when we come back from the mall, hopefully this video is done uploading. And me and Kendra can go ahead and film our twin talk so that it can go up tomorrow because our twin talk is going up kind of late because you guys know we were in LA and we only had enough time to pre-film videos for our main channel. So, so sorry that twin talk was a little late um, this month because it was supposed to go up at the end of March, but it's going up a little later, but better late than never. So if y'all can hear something in the background, that's Kendra vacuuming. She's vacuuming the couch with the little handheld um, vacuum. So that's what that is. It's uploading so slow and this video is only like three minutes long. But uh, oh yeah, I wanted to tell y'all about this brow pencil from ColourPop. Kendra put me onto this because she already started using it before I did. And y'all, this brow pencil is so good. It's pretty amazing. I use the color Bangin' Brunette. This is what they look like. She's a really, really good brow pencil. So if you're on a budget and you don't want to like fork out the bucks for Anastasia Beverly Hills, then I highly recommend this. Yeah, please excuse my hair. I've been wearing it like this for like the past three days. But I did wear it in like a low bun at church yesterday. But it's been like this just because my hair is so dirty. Like, it doesn't look that dirty, but my scalp is so itchy. Um, it hasn't been washed in like over two weeks. But y'all know me, you can stretch our hair like longer than two weeks a lot of the times because I know that um you guys know that our regular straight hair routine is every two weeks so we'll strain it like twice a month and sometimes curl it in between but lately we've just been stretching it and it's been lasting because a lot of people ask how we strain our hair so much and it's still healthy but two times a month is really not that like much to me but um yeah but this was the last time we we're gonna straighten our hair until fall because um it's starting to get warmer and you guys know we wear curly in the summer but it's still spring obviously but it doesn't get like super super hot here until like the very end of spring because it's been like really nice outside but the nights have been cooler it's been like 50 40 some degrees at night so i think when we wash our hair this week i think i'm gonna wash my wednesday or thursday i'm not sure yet because thursday i want to go get my nails done because of this but um yeah i think i might wash it wednesday or thursday but Kendra and I are going to do it like my blown out waves, um, the tutorial I did a few months ago. I'm just going to do that on my hair just because that's how I want to wear it in Dallas at our meetup that I'm super excited for. We're going to be going again this weekend. We were just in LA. Now we're leaving for Dallas, but I'm really excited. I've never been in Dallas and I just can't wait. I'm super excited. Hey guys, it's Kendra. So I'm really annoyed right now because um, like Kelsey said, we're getting ready to go to Apple because... I need my phone to be fixed because it cracked and I've never cracked my phone. Keep in mind, I think I've had the iPhone for like three years now. I had the four, the five, and now the six and I have never cracked my phone. And when we were in LA the other day, I think it was the day before yesterday, we were at the Grove and we were getting out the car to get ready to like go in the elevator. I dropped it and usually when I drop my phone, the case that the cases that Kelsey and I use, they're from Amazon. Like everybody always asks where those mirror cases are from. They never ever like crack my phone. And they always protect our phones and stuff. So I've never cracked my phone and I love those cases. That day, I guess my phone just fell like too hard. And I don't know if you guys can see like that crack up there. And it's just, oh, it's just so annoying. It's at the top like left corner. It could be worse, but this is bothering me. And I just need a nice crackless phone screen so I'm annoyed and I just wish it wouldn't have cracked because I'm so used to like not having my phone crack when I drop it because I don't drop it that often but when I do it never cracks so and um my hair is so dirty but I feel like 17 again today with this hair this used to be my favorite hairstyle like back in high school and junior high like when it was dirty so I feel 17 today I kind of like it though so because I needed to look presentable for twin talk today and I don't know what else to do with my hair besides put it in a ponytail. So I just decided to do the half up, half down. 
Oh, and I'm loving this lip color. This is everything nice from Gerard Cosmetics. I'm obsessed. So it's a really nice nude. So I really like it. Okay, we're leaving the mall and my phone took about an hour to fix and I'm so happy that she's fixed. This is more like it. And we're on our way to the car wash, of course, because we're always getting the car washed in this springy pollen filled weather. But the pollen is almost gone though. Yeah, but the pollen is slowly starting to dwindle down. It's not as bad as it was before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're on our way to the car wash and of course we're going to Starbucks, so. Make sure this is not coffee, because last time they gave us coffee, yes. I was like, this is not chai. I don't know what this is. Is it chai? It's chai. It's good. <laughs> it is? Mm-hmm. The last one was good uh, before the time they gave us coffee. After they remade it, it was good. Mm -hmm. I wanted to tell you guys that we always get the chai, but we recently have been getting vanilla instead of the classic like chai, whatever that is. They always say classic or vanilla when we ask for the vanilla, but we just say just vanilla. And if you guys have not added vanilla to your chai, it's bomb. Yeah, just ask for soy vanilla chai tea latte iced. Yes. Now, like Kelsey said, we get soy. We don't get regular milk, and I haven't had regular milk in forever. Well, I can't have regular milk because my stomach will start hurting. Yeah, she's lactose intolerant. So yeah, my stomach can't take the regular milk. So that's why I get the soy. Well, we get this one. Hi guys, so today's Thursday and Kelsey and I are on our way to a new nail place to get our nails done. We haven't been that happy with our other nail place that we were going to for a while because they can never get my shape right. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. I wish they had more selection of colors and stuff and they didn't really have that many um, options and, and I used to get the same colors over and over and I just wanted more color options. So this new place we're going to is called The Hot Spot. They have an Instagram, if you guys are curious. Um, so we're gonna see how they are. Hopefully we like this place and we can just start going to this place. If you guys are curious about our bun situation right now, <laughs> we both have deep conditioner in, cause we dyed our hair. We both dyed our hair yesterday. Yeah. Um, black again. I dyed Kelsey's and Kelsey dyed mine and we didn't, we didn't have time. Well, we had time, but we didn't feel like doing our like the rest of our hair yesterday, so we're gonna finish it today. Yeah, just rinse out the deep conditioner, and then we're just gonna um, blow it out and do our waves. Okay, guys, so we just left the nail place, um, and I just want to go get me something to eat, and now we're about to take care of Chick-fil-A. Yes, because I don't want Chipotle. Yeah, but um, they did a really good job. Mine are obviously super long. That's what I got. This is called, what's this called? American ombre. ombre? Yeah, it's called American Ombre, and I really like it. it like, he, he did the shape exactly how I wanted and everything. Mm -hmm. I got mine longer than I usually get them, but I got American Ombre as well. They're just more pink. Um, and I did get a different shape, but I'm looking at them and they're still too long for me. Like, every time I try to do something different, I'm like, oh, a little shorter. <laughs> I, just, I like the length. Long nails aren't for me. I like medium to shorter. That length. is medium. Maybe it's not medium to me, cause I'm not used to it. But I do like the American Ombre look though. It's something different and it's still natural. That's medium. This is like obviously, obviously it's long. long. And they were longer than this at first and I told him, I'm like, can you file them down just a little yes, bit more? Yes, I kept looking over, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> They were kinda long at first, I'm not gonna lie. But you know, I like long nails. Hey guys, so we just got to Dallas um, and the flight wasn't that long, it was pretty short and we just got to our hotel and I want to show you a quick tour of the room because it's really nice. We're staying at the La Meridian. I'll have the name down here, but um, that's the name of it and I'm going to give you a quick tour like real fast. So this is the front door. You first walk in and there's the bathroom and then here's the like living room area. Oh. That's a pretty good sized couch too. Cute little pink chair. I love that wallpaper though, so cute. so cute. Adds a lot of character. And this is kind of like a bar type island thing, I guess. Yeah. And then that's the view. Yeah, and the TV's right there. 
I wonder can you like swivel it? Like can you turn it or something? Yeah. Oh yes you can. Perfect. Okay. Working with other companies like partnerships, sponsorships, those things come with time and 
think a lot of people um, think like those things uh, happen like just like that, but those definitely came over time. As long as they know your email, people just have to come to you. So that's something you can't really control. You just have to open for them the right time when they contact you that you want to work with, and it kind of goes from there. So they'll pop up an inbox and just, you know, communicate that way. But if they know your email and they already call you and sit down and that kind of thing, as long as it's not really forced, it's kind of um, I don't want this to be like a weird question or anything, but you guys smell so good. <laughs> I just wanted to know what perfume you guys are wearing. <laughs> That's not a weird question, actually. You know, I hope everybody likes to smell food. <laughs> so I want to be curious. Um, we're both wearing Gucci Flora. Will we be seeing your mother in any more videos? <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Everyone loves my mom. She's ours. <laughs> no, seriously. Um, I, I think I want to do her makeup on camera one day. I think that would be pretty cool. Our little sister, actually, she likes to do, uh, she likes to watch YouTube videos of like little kids like opening toys and like play -Doh. So I think pretty soon on our vlog channel, we're gonna have her do a couple of videos. So we have like sister and kids. You know, we're looking out for Kylie Grace. You know, to a screen here. Guys, so we just left our meetup and we had a lot of fun. I'm trying to talk low because we're in the hallway. I'm trying to go find something to eat because we don't go out to dinner until seven. We're going to dinner with Mahisha uh, from Curls. She's the uh, CEO of Curls, so she's taking us out to dinner. But yeah, we had so much fun at our meetup. Thank you guys for coming. Yes, we're so appreciated. Yeah, but we're going to eat tonight at this place called Knife. I'm not sure about a vlog just because I don't know. I have to see how the atmosphere is. Hopefully the food is good though. Uh, yeah, man. We got all comfy. Got our house shoes on. His eyes fell off and I can't find the button, so oh well. Hi guys, so it is Monday and Kendra and I just went to Whole Foods and Trader Joe's just, just to pick up some groceries. Um, and we got pretty much things we usually get. Um, so I'm not gonna show you guys like everything, but we got some new juices that we wanted to try from Whole Foods. So you guys know we love the Rise and Shines and the Detoxifier. I want to try this green lemonade one. And it has apple, kale, celery, cucumber, spinach, and lemon. So I hope I like this because I'm not a fan of celery. But I just wanted to try it to see how I liked it. And then we got these. We got one of these each. The Cashew Vanilla Cinnamon Agave. And then we got Pineapple Apple Mint. So I think this is going to be really good because I love pineapple and I love mint, so. Oh, and this is like meal prep stuff right here, like peppers, not strawberries. But like we're going to uh, meal prep finally this week. Um, we're not going to have chicken this week. We're going to have ground turkey with the peppers and then we have onions too. But um, I've been um, doing sweet potatoes lately sometimes because we've been getting tired of eating the like um, red potatoes just to change it up a little bit. So I'm going to make some sweet potatoes and I like to boil them in a pot first so that they get really, really soft and the skin starts to fall off. Kind of like if you were making a sweet potato pie, but not really. So it's kind of like making sweet potato pie filling, but not putting it on a crust, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna show you guys how I make it later, but yeah, um, sweet potatoes are really good for your skin. So I love this as like our new side. And of course y'all know kettle chips are our favorite. Well, and Kendra loves these pop chips. So these are really good alternative to like Doritos or something like that. So they're a little bit healthier. Oh, and we got uh, a new salad dressing we wanted to try because we really like vinaigrette. But this one is Honey Dijon vinaigrette and it's dairy free, which is great. Cause you know, we don't, we're trying to eat too much dairy. So I hope I like this because I really like um, Honey Dijon um, dressing anyway, but I've never tried a 
vinaigrette version so i hope i like it and then we got this fresh salsa whole foods has the best fresh salsa it's delicious because it's like homemade it's fresh and it just tastes so good with the smell is so strong like all of our groceries smell like onions now because of this my hands smell like onions like but this is really really good um and these are the chips that we like to get from whole foods these are the cantina style chips the blue chips which are our favorite to get with salsa some people think it's kind of weird but they pretty much don't taste like a huge difference than the reg regular chips some people like look at it and it's like oh black chips but these are really really good so we really like these okay so the potatoes are done boiling i just like put the spoon in there to see how soft they were to make sure they were soft enough to mash so that's what i'm about to do now they're super hot so they're just pretty much going to fall out of the skin so that's what I'm about to do now. I'm going to put it in this bowl and then I'm just going to add some organic sugar and I'm going to add some almond milk. Yeah, we're going to add some almond milk. Okay guys, so I already put them in the bowl. I forgot to tell y'all that I did let them boil for like two and a half hours to make sure they were soft enough to like fall off the skin and make sure you have like a plastic bag on hand to put the skin in. So throw that away and then now I'm just gonna mash them with this spoon and then after that I'm going to um, mix it with the mixer so that they're nice and like soft and like creamy and that's when I like to add the sugar and then the almond milk because I don't sometimes I add too much almond milk and they're like kind of soupy and I want it to be like more creamy so I just kind of like to eye it out I don't like measure or anything like that so and I only add a little bit of sugar. I'll show y'all how much I add. Not too much because they're sweet potatoes, so they're already sweet. Okay, so this is pretty much how I make the mashed sweet potatoes and it kind of looks like baby food, but whatever, still good. And I recommend using a mixer because it gets out all the little strings and stuff um, that are on, I mean, that are in sweet potatoes that kind of not make it as creamy. So um, I got this from Target for like $20, $30, I think. But you can get a mixer pretty much from anywhere, Walmart, Bed Bath & Beyond, places like that. So yeah. Hey guys, it's Kendra. So today's Wednesday and Kelsey and I are getting ready to go get a wax because we haven't got one since like last month and um, we get them once a month so it's time to get a wax and we procrastinate getting waxes because it's not fun at all but we just rather get it over with just to get it out of the way and it's only once a month so it's not that bad and we're gonna go to the movies later I think we're gonna go see the boss because we haven't been to the movies in a while in a few weeks because we, obviously we've been out of town lately probably a little over a month the last movie we saw in theaters was the perfect match i think oh i lied it was allegiant not the perfect match yeah we saw allegiant that was really good but yeah we're gonna see the boss today because melissa mccarthy is hilarious we love going to the movies i don't know if you guys know this but it's like one of our favorite things to do like i don't know i just love going to the movies it's like an escape you know i need to get some packages from the leasing office because we did get some stuff from sephora um because the vib sale was this past week i think it's been a little over a week since the sale started we got a lot of hair products curly hair products in particular i did get some makeup items i'll show you guys when i get um the makeup items that i got because I, I didn't get that much i got like five makeup items but everything else is pretty much hair products so we're probably going to film like a curly hair haul of some sort like a high-end curly hair haul and then we might do like a separate one for like all of our drugstore like hair products that are sold at like target like that kind of thing so a separate haul for those yeah so we're about to go get our waxes and then we're gonna go to the movies later also as for the makeup i'm wearing today the lip color i got recently ordered some ofra cosmetics liquid lipsticks and i'm liking them so far i'm wearing please don't judge me i have on three colors right now because i just got a little excited and i just wanted to see the formula of them and like the colors or whatever right now i have on americano with pasadena mixed together and then in the middle i have on bel air i think yeah, Bel Air. And please excuse my wings. They're not the best today. I don't know what I was thinking, but I love my lip color though. So we just got back from getting a wax and we checked the leasing office and this is all of our Sephora stuff. But 
we made a couple separate orders so it's like two things in some of these boxes but most of this is hair products this is kind of embarrassing when they came out at least in the office with these boxes <laughs> like i wasn't expecting this three are kelsey's and three are mine so yeah it's not that bad it's not that bad once you divide it so you have to take advantage when there's a sale at sephora so i figured i would show you guys all the makeup items that i got since i didn't get that many from the sale we mostly got hair products like i said some of these are repurchases and then some of them i've never tried so this first product this is from Givenchy. um and I've never tried anything from their line makeup wise. Uh, I do have a perfume from them, but I haven't tried this before. This is the Givenchy Mr. Matte Mattifying Primer. I'm curious to see how this works. So that is what the packaging looks like. Yeah, I really wanted to try a new mattifying primer, especially since we're gonna be in the warmer months coming up. So I was really excited about this. So hopefully this works really good for my oily skin then the next thing i got is this nars velvet matte which is this skin tint i think yeah that's what this is and i want to try this because kelsey um said she really liked it because she got it from nitra's recommendation so i'm really excited to try this and this is the color that i got it's probably not focusing it's called polynesia dark so this is the color that i got and i think this is the darkest shade i really wish they had um a better range of shades for like darker skin tones but this is the color that I got and that's what the actual packaging looks like and then this next product I got is a concealer this is from makeup forever and this is their full cover concealer I think it's waterproof yes yeah, it's their full cover camouflage concealer so that's what it looks like I got the color fun so I'm gonna use that like for under my eyes I'm curious to see if it's similar to the Kat Von D tattoo locket concealer so i'm really excited about this so got that and i want to see how it worked like with this nars skin tint together i thought these would be great for the summer i might do like a first impressions like get ready with me or something like that with these possibly so and also this jivan she primer that might be like a good video to try out this stuff and then these last two things i got are both from laura mercier these are repurchases this first one is the Laura Mercier Secret Concealer. I use this to carve out my brows and I am in number six. So this is the concealer that I like to use to carve out my brows and I do need to do a brow routine. So um, I'll probably use this in that video. So if you guys remember, that's what it looks like. And then last but not least, I got this Laura Mercier Blue Setting Powder and Translucent. I had the travel size and I did not have the big one. so. I had to have it. This is like holy grail status. I love this for um, setting my concealer and also like doing the baking method. I've been trying a little bit of that with this powder and I love, love it. So, and this is not makeup related, but I figured I would show you guys. This is, um, I wanted to get a repurchase of my favorite toner because I ran out. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Unwrinkled Turbo Line Smoothing Toning Lotion. Yes. I'm obsessed with this toner. It's on the pricey side, but it's worth it. This is what the bottle looks like. It's really good for anti-aging and just getting off excess dirt. Oh yeah, I forgot I wanted to show you guys. I did have another um, box that had lip gloss in it. So I'm gonna show you guys that really quick also. So I did get three lip glosses also from Anastasia. Um, I've never tried, I think I have one of her glosses and it's in the color Bordeaux, but I wanted to try like more of her nudie colors. So I was curious to see how these would look on me. Um, the colors that I got are Terra Fudge and Butterscotch. Um, just gonna open them really quick. So this is what they look like. This is Butterscotch. It's like a really light peachy nude. I'm sure I'm gonna have to put something dark underneath this for me to wear it, but I did think it was really pretty online, but they can be a little deceiving, like some of the swatches that they have. And I didn't even know Sephora had like some of her glosses on there. Cause sometimes Anastasia's stuff is on Macy's, of course it's on her site, but she doesn't sell all her stuff on Sephora, but I did find out that these were on there. So this is Butterscotch. This is Fudge. I'm really excited about this one. Um, it's like more of a brownie nude color with a hint of like mauve and rose in there so this one's really pretty and this one is called tara or tara i'm not sure how to pronounce it um this lighting is awful so yeah that's what that looks like it's like a terracotta color i think it described the way it, they described it online so this is tara so i'm really excited about this one too this is really pretty so and her lip glosses are really pigmented so i'm really excited about these now looking at these they kind of remind me of the Kali cosmetics colors that she came out with like literally so cute those three shades that she came up with in the glosses um i did get my hands on one of them i ordered them for kelsey and i i got like which is the darkest one so i'm curious to see if it's similar to fudge and tara the light color that i ordered i didn't get my hands on the other two because they sold out 
Um, I probably won't get so cute, but I do kind of want literally still, but I did get like, but these look really similar to those. So I'm really excited to try these. Now that's all the makeup that I got from the sale. So that's what I got in then my favorite toner. Hi guys, so today is Thursday and Kendra and I are about to get ready to film a video. That's why you see lights behind me. Um, but yeah, we're about to get ready to film our high-end curly hair products haul from the Sephora VIB sale. But before that, I'm trying to import some of this vlog footage that was on this camera because our SD card was full. So I'm just importing all of the footage from like our meetup and stuff. When I woke up this morning, my eye was really itchy. This one in particular. And uh, I found a sty on the inner rim of my waterline, like the top part of my waterline. So I wasn't going to film at first um, because it's a video with us together. So I didn't want to like let Kendra down and be like, I can't film. Because she suggested that I not wear makeup so until it went away. But... I was just like, we have to film because we haven't put up a video all week because we took a couple days off. So I was like, no, we have to get up a video tomorrow. So I just sucked it up, put some makeup on, and it stopped itching. I guess it was itching because I was rubbing my eye. Like, you know, when you rub your eyes when you wake up in the morning, it was like super itchy. So it's like a little white bump up here. That might sound kind of nasty, but it's like a little white bump on the inner rim of my eye. And then when I was almost done doing my makeup, I found another one down here so I hope they go away soon they were um this one was really ir irritated this morning but my mom said they just go away on their own so I'm not sure how long it'll take because it's not super big but I don't want it to get bigger either so yeah this is almost done I'll get ready to film but um yeah just having some lunch because I'm not that hungry I'm just having a green juice this is the green lemonade one that I told y'all about the other day that uh, this was my first time trying it and it has apple kale celery cucumber spinach and lemon in it and I thought I wouldn't like it but it's not that bad actually because I hate celery and celery when it's in anything like a smoothie or a juice anything is super potent it's not that bad it's a very light fresh taste but yeah I'm just trying to get like some nutrients back in my body because we did meal prep this week obviously but we were going out of town the last two weekends and I didn't eat that great. So yeah, just trying to get some veggies back in my system. But yeah, um, I just wanted to thank all of you guys again in Dallas for coming to our meetup. We had such a good time and we're just so appreciative of all of you guys supporting us and just loving us for us and we love you guys so much. So thank y'all again for coming to our meetup. We can't wait to start doing more meetups around the globe because we want to do more so yeah thank y'all for coming and yeah i just want to say we love y'all so much so yeah we're about to film this video it's gonna take me all night to edit but oh well it's my turn to edit um a video so gotta do what we gotta do and we don't want to leave y'all hanging for like an entire week because some people take like a week off but i don't want to take a full week off so three days is enough for us hey guys it's kendra so um Kelsey and i are getting ready to go to home goods because we really need some baskets well i more than she does because she already has some under her sink we need it for storage for her hair products my curly hair products like are out of hand like some of the ones that i used last summer that are pretty much almost gone and then the new products that we recently got from sephora and from target so i need to just like organize and just get my products in some kind of order and baskets I think baskets would be like a good way to separate them because I'm gonna put it like high-end curly hair products in one basket and then two baskets um, are probably gonna be for my drugstore curly hair products because I have more drugstore than high-end because I re Kelsey and I recently got some high-end curly hair products from Sephora that's the haul we filmed today hopefully home goods has what we need because under my sink does not look as organized as I would like it to and I also think um, sometime next week I'm gonna order some like like makeup organization stuff because um, my makeup is not that organized like it has a home but it's not like in containers or anything or like acrylic organizers so I want to um, mainly get some organizers for like my lippies and stuff like liquid lipsticks and lip glosses and my lip pencils I'll try to vlog in home goods if we can but sometimes people be lurking around the corners and it's very uncomfortable 